if you listen to that and you think that sounds great, but I'm probably not eligible, don't worry. There are ways that you could be more energy efficient. So even if you're not eligible, you can still improve the energy efficiency of your home. So if you can afford to, you can look at retrofitting your home or installing some of the me measures we've mentioned, like insulation or solar PV. So if you have an, an, enough money saved up to be able to do that, then please do go ahead. That That's a really good way of improving the energy efficiency of your home and also lowering your carbon footprint. And the crucial thing here is this is uh, we're promoting this as part of our climate change work and it's about reducing carbon emissions as well as ho helping you reduce your fuel bills as well. And there's other sort of cheaper measures as well that you can introduce into your home, like LED lighting, smart heating controls um, and thermostatic radiator valves. So it can give you uh, LEDs will massively reduce your um, uh, energy use for your, for your lighting. If you've got sort of traditional incandescent bulbs, um, then, then switching to LEDs will really you'll, you'll see a noticeable difference in, in your, your um, electricity bills there. And smart heating controls that there's brands out there like Nest and Hive and things like that. And there's lots of other ones out there um, and they can give you that control of your home so you can vary the, the heat levels and have better control and, and use energy much more efficiently. And thermostatic radiator valves are just valves on your radiator where you can turn them up and down depending on how hot you want your room to be. Um, and there's other things like thermal curtains, smart energy meters are being installed by um, energy companies for free and that gives you really good um, control and, and, and information around how much energy you're using. So you can see actually this is when the spikes of my energy use are, this is when I'm, I'm paying more for for, for my for my um for my energy and can then help you sort of shift behaviors and, and think about actually uh, if I turn this off or use it at a different time then actually that that's a better way of doing it and there's stuff like draft excluders and radiator reflectors and they're generally quite affordable they, they, they're not a huge outlay for, for people to, to improve your energy efficiency and also some, some of the things to mention is there's um, Southwest London energy advice partnership um, they they have a website there that provides lots of energy information. They provide impartial energy advice and they actually have um, a, a session on, I think it's the 19th of March um, in Tooting, um, where they're going to be sort of like physically present, where you can pop along and have um, uh, have a chat with them about energy efficiency and what you can do. And especially if you're struggling to pay your bills or you want to do more around energy efficiency, they can provide that free impartial energy advice. And there's also ones with RAP, which is run by um, one of our partner organisations, Thinking Works, who provide, um, provide information and support around energy efficiency improvements to your home. 